short-term fuel trim. What is it? It is the knee-jerk reaction of the computer seeing the O2 sensor change. And as it sees a trend towards rich or lean, it's going to make corrections almost immediately when we uh, see low or high O2 voltages. We'll talk a little bit about the wideband, but mostly switching air fuel, or switching O2 sensors. It should be around 0% ideally, but we know engines don't run ideally. We're gonna see fluctuations within the 10 percentage of adding fuel positive or percentage negative, taking fuel away if it's being sensed rich. Could go as high as 25 to 35, either negative or positive, rich or lean, but when we see those kind of numbers, almost as surely you'll get the mill on for a rich or lean problem. It's an indication of the trend, what's going on with the engine. And it's an old term, OBD1 days, if you're an older tech like me, you remember integrator. That was the same as fuel trim with 128 being the magic number for General Motors and also for VW and Audi, they call it multiplicative mixture correction.